Oh yeah, sexy biscuits. Nice. This is Alien Storm on the Sega Mega Drive, a Disney arcade game released in 1990 by Sega, then ported to the Mega Drive and Sega Master System in 1991, and ported to a whole bunch of our home systems. I forget who did it, it wasn't Sega, but we're talking like, you know, Amiga, Atari ST, Commodore, Amstrad Spectrum. You know, it was, it's what Sega did so well back in the day. Clearly they thought, you know what, people like Golden Axe, why don't we take that sort of gameplay mechanic and then just kind of boot it into the future and obviously there's a heavy nod to Aliens in there as well. I can't remember if the Capcom official Aliens game came out before or after this but it, you can play you with three different characters um, <clears throat> depending on the versions you play it, you know whether you're playing the Japanese or you know the North American or even the PAL versions, some of the colours and some of the names has changed because yeah there's you, there's this bird, your group of people called Alien Busters Right, yeah. Seriously, you didn't work very hard on that one, did you, Sega? And you're here to defend the Earth. How the fuck is she still alive after that? Here to defend the Earth from this homicidal alien race um, who are here to be, well, homicidal and alien and racy. Um, but yeah, it's, it does, even though it, you know, the different elements, and, and, and I've never got that tile screen. In particular, there are excellent side scrolling stages, you know, almost like, almost, almost, almost like Operation and Wolf and stuff like that. You know, it looks really, really nice for an early Mega Drive game. Probably want to, there you go, that's the robot. Scooter? Scooter or Slammer? Probably couldn't call them Scooter everywhere because, you know, well, they're ripping off the Muppets, but... Yeah, so it's very golden axe, but, you know, different gameplay mechanics quite quick, but immediately you can see it looks like it. And the alien, you know, bosses are, you know, really, really, you know, like, cool. I mean, look at them. Uh, but then, you know, let's be honest, aliens, uh, you know, like, you know, one of Sega's main fortes, like stuff with their uh, alien syndrome and stuff like that, you know. Can I say stuff that closely together twice? Uh, you know, they, they, they came up with cool aliens is what I'm trying to say, right? I never owned this on my Mega Drive back in the day, but I did borrow the Jap version off a kid at school. And that kid I always talk about was so super loaded that his parents would just throw games at him so he could impress the only other person at school on a Japanese Mega Drive. But hey, that worked for me because that made him basically my blockbusters. Right, let's get into it. I forget what all the controls are. Right, so, okay, I've always got a thing like they did with Golden Axe, like a dual thing going on as well. I don't know, I'm gonna, yeah, easy. Sorry, people, I'm talking. No, no, normal, because if I do easy, then does it change the levels like um, it does on Golden Axe? You know, where you, you can almost go for the entire game in one level, basically. Rapid fire on, I'll have that, you know. Thank you, control pad. I don't know. A special, no. No. Special. Attack. Attack the Death Star. I don't know. Right, let's go arcade. Yeah, you know, I didn't hate it, I just never loved it. The Sega Master System version is actually quite impressive. There you go, this is stupid. He's crap. I don't know, it was like, hey, you know, we got to put a, a token robot in because kids like robots and shit. Know your source material, so yeah. Right, well, I guess they do. I don't know what the steel skull in the middle as well. Probably just put it in because it's in Terminator. Look at this. I don't know what that one at the bottom is doing, but clearly he's too excited. Right, so there we go. Oh, got roll. Oh, and that's special. And I've got the shortest weapon range in the world ever. And he's got farty breath. And yeah, and you, and you shoot down. Oh, look what little mutant weirdo baby things. So, don't you come from a burger van or something? They've got amazing cloaking devices, haven't they? Oh, no you don't. So yeah, as you can see, it's just very, very Golden Axe. I would say that, even though Golden Axe is an early Mega Drive game, I would think, no you don't, uh, this is a better looking game. Oh, don't, how do I do? Oh yeah, I'm, part, I'm, I'm dual wielding. Nice. Ooh. Yes. Ow. I'm sure they've just recycled that from Golden Axe. That seemed a tad over the top, mate, for such a small alien. Oh. oh. 
Who's going to try and stinky alien vagina my face? I will not stand for that. This is my plan, you scumbucket. Fuck off. Oh, I should have gone in? Uh, oh, yes I should, because now we're in the store. So, right, you've got to shoot them as they fly towards you, but come on, this is graphically lovely. I think this is brilliant. Everything blows up and shit really, really nice. It's kind of a little bit tips frisky. Oh, chicken. Oh, and I felt like chicken tonight, ironically. Can I run out of ammo? I don't know. I run out of health, obviously. Isn't it interesting that all the aliens in here are completely different from the ones who are outside in the open? Maybe they, I don't know. Maybe the ones inside are unionized. I like them little bit, just ah, pouring at the air. Ah. Yes. Oh. Ironically, you can spit fire out your mouth, but if I burn you, you die. Maybe you should open your mouth and, and take it there. Never mind. Ow. Or is it far that your weird little alien ripped off from aliens in a mouth tongue? I'm gonna eat you. I'm gonna eat you first. I'm the little baby tongue. I'm just gonna shoot the mailbox just because people wouldn't get cards and shit and bills. You know, and it would ruin their day. Because they're not gonna lie, they never thank me for doing anything. That I got these slimy wankers to deal with. Oh, special forces. It's such a hard job. Are you, are you eating a house? You're eating a house. I'm not sure that's the best way, you know, to attack, but good for you. Maybe in Alien Land it's one of their five a day. Maybe you follow that with like a semi-detached and then possibly like a high-rise. And then, then you're good in Alien Land for the rest of the week. Your five is sorted and you can be regular. By the way, aliens, we wear fucking clothes on this planet, right? There you go. Sort your shit out. That was really, really satisfying. The music's changed. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Does anyone remember Terra Hawks? That alien bears a striking uh, resemblance to. Was it Zelda and Terra Hawks? Yeah, see, my military backed me up more than once, and I don't have to kick little thieves in the middle of the night to get it. Do you got? Uh, you've got ass lasers. Uh, this is the worst tactics ever. Uh, right, there's obviously oh oh I've got a roll, haven't I? There's obviously a there we go a tactic to you know fight him. I'm just being incredibly lazy. Jump, jump over. Yeah, Captain America and shit. Check it out. Where's his life? There we go. Personally, I prefer to get my energy drinks from a vending machine, but you know, each to their own. Is that, is that what happens when they absorb houses? They, well, their stomachs become pantries. Right, you've got your running level. I'm just going to do a little bit, uh, then we'll call it quits. But this is what makes me laugh. I know it's to mix up the gameplay, but I can't. Oh my Christ. Am I, when did I turn into Space Harrier? Oh man, I must work out. That's a Stairmaster all over there. But yeah, I can't help but think that this is a far more effective gun to fight these people and I should have used it on the first level. You know, can I call my SWAT team here? Yes. Nice. It is fun, SWAT. Can I, I can't shoot backwards. Dogs can't look up, apparently. It is fun, you know, it's just, it's not quite in the same school of, you know, Golden Axe, but, oh look, zombie, alien, weird, blokey things. Space zombies. Do you remember that movie? Uh, what was it? What was the one about it set in London in the 80s with space vampires? Bollocks, I can't remember the name. Life Force. That's an amazing movie. Anyway, I'm really waffling random bollocks. Oh, look. A hug a day. You know? Makes you smile. Um, yeah, anyway, I'm talking random bollocks. I'm going to call it quits there. But yeah, it's by no means a bad game. It just doesn't have the, uh, the charm that Gold Axe does for me. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you later.